Adventist News at 10. Well, tonight we're hearing leaked audio recordings of NOPD investigators grilling a member, a former member of Mayor Cantrell's security team. It's all part of an investigation into officers and into an officer and hours he clocked while on the mayor's detail. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm sure he skips in. Those tape recordings were inadvertently leaked from an NOPD internal investigation, which is a major breach of security. Now tonight we'll tell you how the Cantrell administration and NOPD Public Integrity Bureau are responding to the leak and what council members now want to see done. But first, what officer Jeffrey Vappi told investigators when he was questioned about his work. Investigative reporter Mike Perlstein obtained copies of the recordings and begins our coverage tonight. We're now hearing tape recordings of New Orleans police officer Jeffrey Vappi being questioned by an NOPD investigator. Vappi was transferred out of the mayor's executive protection detail amid questions about his hours and activities, specifically whether he overbilled the city or collected overtime he didn't earn. The recording, part of an internal police investigation, began circulating this week. The problem is internal investigations are supposed to be secret, and the recording falling into public hands is now generating a whole new set of troubling questions. Who did you actually report to? Who's your person like in charge? Uh, the mayor. The mayor. Yes. Did you report to anyone else? Did you have any supervision? Other supervisors? No, the, no. The only other supervision was a uh, sergeant. The Office of Independent Police Monitor called the leak a security breach and notified the Department of Justice, City Council, and federal consent decree monitors. The files contained on a thumb drive included hours of interviews conducted by the Public Integrity Bureau. The questions posed to VAPI include a range of topics, including the controversial first-class flights by the mayor, as well as VAPI himself. The mayor has since had to pay for the flight upgrades to avoid violating city policy. You drive, would ride coach, but if you didn't ride coach, you, 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 you were riding first class. You were telling everyone in first class, right? Okay, how was that accommodated? What happened with that people? I have no idea. The questions for Vappi also revolve around time spent with the mayor outside of his normal security duties. She wanted to walk and jog, mm -hmm. so I did. It started out uh, her walking at after hours at, at night, uh, but then it's, it happened in the morning. She suggested to walk in the morning on mm -hmm. Riverfront. So at night, that was after you guys ended your shift? Yes. So would that be a part of your executive protection duty or part of your walking duty? That was, that's outside the scope. That was just uh, a request by the boss. In a joint statement from PIB and the city attorney's office, the city explained that the files were, quote, inadvertently released by law enforcement to a Hano board member. Meanwhile, City Council President J.P. Morrell wrote that the investigation is now compromised and is calling for a third party to step in and take over. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News.